Hey, Pop Chaser here. Today we have some exciting news.、Uh, it's almost Christmas next week. So, well, actually, this weekend. So, we are supposed to have this awesome Christmas banner. So, we have a lot of news.、Uh, first of all, we have maintenance that's going on tonight, Wednesday. Okay, it starts at 8 o'clock, so it's earlier. So, if you need to finish, then do your things first. And then there's going to be Ability Awakenings.、Um, there's going to be a new banner, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to save that for last, okay?、Uh, so there, there will be a new, highly difficult quest. Destroy the reactor, okay? This is just a continuation of the current、um, King Mog event. This big boss, you need to. Break his、uh, defense spirit, but you cannot break his attack and magic, so he might do a lot of damage to you. So, you should buff out your party with Soleil, Roy, or、um, maybe the new unit that's coming. Okay, Machine Killer, so anything with Machine Killer. I don't think this boss will be super difficult because you only get based on the reward, you're not getting super nice rewards. It's four star Trust Mogul and、uh, 10,000 soldiers. I have resistance plus 50%. This can be very useful.、Um, reason is, we're going to have a new trial boss. Okay. That does a lot of ice damage. Cloud's uniform. This you must get. This is one of the best free equipment. HP plus 500. Attack plus 15. Defense plus 30. Spirit plus 15. This is awesome. All right. Not just for Cloud, for anybody. Right. And、uh, so definitely get that. Okay. What's next? Cacto. Cactus Dunes. All right. Cacto Dunes.、Um, if you're short on Cacto, I am short on Cacto. I might do this, but it's kind of expensive. 30 energy to do one. Okay. So, and I'm kind of disappointed with the current raid event. It does not give us a lot of Cactus.、Um, but hey, it is what it is. So, if you're short, do that. And we have a new quest. Okay. This is a trial boss in the Chamber of Fallen. Okay, this is the Ice Bird Glacial.、Uh, it's gonna be very, very difficult. Okay, ever produce glaucons,、uh, glaucons, or something? I don't know what it is. I have never played the Japan version, so、um, this can be a difficult boss. I have not finished Marlboro or uh, uh, Bloody Moon yet, the Wicked Moon. So, this, this is gonna be way later before I can try this. Frozen Crown, HP plus 500, Defense 16, Spirit plus 50. Wow, Ice Resistance plus 30 will be very nice. The th- ironic thing is that you can definitely use this to fight against this boss, but you will not get this until you've killed the boss, right? So, that's kind of like a chicken and egg problem. You get 5 star Moogles, no limit burst, okay? Party of 5 or less, wow, that's gonna be really hard. Boost magic and spirit when equipped with a hat. Yeah, that, that's gonna be good for mages, but that's gonna be hard. Party of five.、Um, evoke Ifrit. Okay, deal partial and mitigated ice magic damage, chance of stopping all enemies. That would be great for arena and、uh, also for some bosses. But、um, what I heard is that if you do fire damage, She will do some devastating counter move. So, if you're gonna evoke e f r e e probably do it last when he's about, she's about to die. Okay, anyway,、um, we'll do,、uh, if I can ever fight, beat the boss, I will do a video. And、uh, Eternal Winter. So, this is a new event that's coming. Okay,、uh, you need to get candy. It's kind of an interesting event. It's not exactly a King Mark event. All right, so. It's an、uh, internal winter story. Okay, so it's a story and a King Mark event combined. So it, it's weird.、Uh, you're supposed to battle through the dungeon, collect candy cans to uncover it. So you're supposed to accumulate some points, and then you can get pretty awesome rewards.、Uh, the, it's a harp. Magic plus 32, Spirit plus 30, Attack plus 5. Nah, nothing very special. The head is good. Attack plus 19. That's nice. That's probably the best. 
uh, right now in the game. Defense plus in terms of free equipment. Defense plus 15. Spears plus 10. Stone gown. Wow, this is really nice. Magics plus 30. Spears plus 35. Okay. And ice resistance plus 30%. That would be great against the uh, Glacial uh, trial boss. Let us know. Increase ice resistance to all allies. I don't know if that's the three term effect or, or what. what. And um, that might be really good. And I don't know if it's 50% or 70%. If it's anything less than 50%, it's not really worth it. Because you can have a lot of units, including Riku, that can do all elemental resistance. And uh, Nymphilia, Chloe can do 70% ice resistance. And there's a lot of units that can do ice resistance. Um, Joyful Spirit, HP plus 10%, increased resist resistance to sleep paralysis. Confusion petrified for self. I don't know if that's a passive. If it's passive, that's awesome. If it's not a passive, not so awesome. And then you can you can redeem for growth eggs and for four star guaranteed ticket. That's awesome. Snow gown. Another snow gown. No, that's the same. So you can redeem for snow gown. Alright. And then you got this uh gingerbread man you gotta kill. It's a demon. Okay, I, I, I'm skipping ahead to the uh, banner. So you get bonus units uh, for the banner, I think. Uh, let's see. Now, the feature banner. Uh, we get Gilbert, six stars. Yay. Not. It's a total. Yeah, I'm not going to go into this right now. Let's, uh, we'll come back to this banner. This is uh, supposed to be awesome winter banner. And uh, the... the um, the banner units don't get any bonuses, so what's the point, right? And uh, we're getting Fan Fiesta Award, Fan Festa Award, reward. Okay, so you get a uh, twelve EX tickets. Uh, it's so everybody already got it, I think. Daily free summons until twentieth, which is today. I've been doing that. Daily Magicide, Trust Mugo. For 10 days, uh, starting from tomorrow. Okay, we get some soldiers, magic keys, no big deal. Four star guaranteed tickets. We'll get two of them. I think I got it already. Yeah. One four star guaranteed X tickets. We're gonna log in on Christmas Eve. Okay. Uh, this does not make sense. Claim before. Okay, you don't get it until December 24th, but you had to log in. You had to claim it before December 23rd. That's, that's a mistake, isn't it? And then we got a 10 plus 1 summer ticket. Yay, we need it. I spent my last one. And uh, 300 lapis. Okay, 500 lapis. I already got 300 lapis. 500 lapis, we need to get it. Okay, so nice rewards just in time because everybody's hurting right now after the club banner. Right, so we got new units to awaken. Wow, Gilbert, yay! I mean, are they serious? Gilbert upgrading to six stars, and we're supposed to be happy about it. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. If you don't know, this is like totally useless. Okay, boost attack, magic, defense, spirit for all allies. Unless Gilbert is going to be super awesome, which I don't think. Well, they made surprises because they did surprises with uh, Soleil, but Gilbert is a three-star base. Okay, so um, I don't think they're really going to uh, buff, buff him up too much. So if you already have Soleil and, or if you have Roy, I have both. So what's the point of getting Gilbert, right? So anyway, Ability Awakening, this can be exciting, right? So we got... Right off the bat, War of Light. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santa Rosalia, I don't have her, so I don't care. Uh, she's much better in Japan anyway in, than Global. I doubt she's going to change the game much for you. And most of you don't have her anyway. King and Knight are just crap units. Okay. Elias is interesting unit. I like him. I never use him though. If they improve him a lot more, maybe I'll consider. But right now, I really don't see how I will ever use him. Why not know it's going to get a bump? Orlando Ram. Okay, let's look at Orlando. Old man. 
Boost attack, equipped with Sword of Katana. Okay. Um, Divine Ruination will go from 2.2x to 2.6x. I don't think they're increasing a lot here because they don't say anything global. So it should be the same as Japan. Reduce MP consumed. So it'll make... Because right now, Enhanced... Enhanced Agrias is basically Orlando. Okay, I have two Enhanced Agrias. Do the same damage as Orlando already. Uh, with a you know lower attack base, so they don't do nearly as much as Orlando fully equipped, but good enough. But with the enhancement, Orlando will do a lot more because it's a 2.6x dual wheel. It'd be 5.2, okay, and uh, crush weapon. It's also boosted. Uh, turn number of turns. I think it's gonna go to five turns. Um, Attack magic reduction gonna be low, so it's a it's not a really must do. You must do if you have Orlando, which I don't. But if you have Orlando, definitely do the Lion's Quest and the Divine Ruination enhancement. Okay, especially Divine Ruination. Ram, I don't have her. She's lovely to have. Okay, she's especially deadly in arena. Okay, if you have seven filter, uh, what is it called? Seven Delta or seven D filter? Okay. Um, she can boost HP, boost all elemental resistance, boost magic spirit increase, uh, boost HP increase. Okay, so she's gonna be a lot more tanky. All right, uh, and dying wish, boost turns in effect recovery. So that's good to have. Raise will be like 100%. So that's good. Kuraga will be more. So that's good. Dagger Boomerang. This is her attack magic. Uh, Boost damage will be low to mid. Maximum damage could from consecutive damage use is mid. So she will become more powerful. Okay. Right now she's not so powerful. She's more of a mid-range rage for five star base. Anyway, I don't have her. White Knight, no, I do have. I have not used him since I first got him. Uh, I just use War of Life, Veritas of Earth. I don't use White Knight, no. Because um, he cannot do cover of magic okay um bring it on boost magic defense spirit increase this is great okay i don't know how much you're gonna do because they don't have this unit in japan so i'm interested to see how much better they're gonna make him okay if they're making a lot better yeah i'm gonna be uh i'm very excited okay bring it on is a very nice it reduces damage by 50 percent um, glacial wave they're gonna do great damage okay so they're gonna because right now she's a he's a very poor mage if you can make him a serv serviceable mage he can be much more useful boost damage amount is great partially ignores magic defense wow that's gonna be awesome so not only does he get higher damage he can ignore magic defense and the boost ice resistance reduction as well. Wow. So this glacial wave can be like a, a very, very nice um, uh, attack. He's also a very, he can become really good attacking tank. Okay. Room protector boost magic defense spirit increases mid. Okay. I don't know what that is. Tactical gear boost magic defense spirit increases. So he's going to be pretty buffed up. Okay. That'd be nice to see. Winter Palace say this is um this is a counter move. I I, I think it's a low priority. Okay. Um I'm definitely interested to see Glacial Wave and the other stats increases. So if you do have him, like I do, uh this is something to watch out for. But for those of you who have Orlando, you definitely need to enhance him. Okay. Alright, so let's come back to the uh the banner so we're gonna start off talking about gilbert all right the three star to six star gilbert's um tmr is so it's actually pretty bad okay it is one of the earlier units now he's gonna get boost of attack magic and generate generate mp for all allies or boost defense spirit and regenerate hp for all allies so 
it's not as good as uh, Soleil or um, uh, Roy, but Soleil cannot regen MP or HP. So we'll have to see how much they actually do until I say this is uh, good or not. I already have a Gilbert, Gilbert and um, I can use him. I can upgrade him to six star if I want to. Um, most of you should have a Gilbert already, and some of you might have gotten rid of him. But definitely do not pull him if you already have Soleil or Roy. Uh, Tinker Carry. Let's attack Bow Machinist. The uh, Trust Master reward is 102 attack. One handed Bow. Eh, it's okay. Bows are not very useful weapons. A lot of uh, people don't, don't, a lot of units cannot equip bows. Okay, and it's this is not a this is good a year ago. Today's meta, this is just not in, good enough. Okay, fly is just jump, it's crap. Explosive ornaments, damage and blind all enemies, that's crap. Inner strength, boost attack spirit when equipped with a go and boost physical damage against demons. Uh, that's just the passive. I, I don't think this this unit is any good. Okay, I can be wrong, but I don't think it's any good. Okay, now we get into exclusive units for the Christmas banner. Now, Gumi surprised us quite a bit in the past when they released global exclusive units. Like, why not know when they came out? It was really good. And uh, uh, Fravia is awesome. It was, she is king of attackers for a long time. And um, A2 is just the, the top unit right now, exclusive, uh, global exclusive. Some global exclusive ones like Alza was not so good, uh, uh, but most of the GL exclusive units have been pretty good. Um, but right now we don't know much about this. The TMR boost spirit fifteen, all elemental resistance by twenty five percent. LB gauge fuel, that is pretty awesome. Okay, um, that's pretty awesome, especially give it to um, your Mystique. Okay, she will be really really. Hard to kill, okay. Um, the nullify all chance, remove all status effects from all enemies and all allies. Okay, this is a kind of double double edged sword. I don't know if that's good or not. Witchcraft use jinx skills twice. So we don't know what the jinx skills are. I I don't even know if this is a mage or not. Okay, because her magic is pretty damn low. She's just got a HP, but she's not a tank unless she become a magic tank, which I don't think so. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if she's any good or not. Hex Eye in, in, inflicts hacks on all enemies, causing them to take damage based on their drains. Drains are ailments that weaken enemies in different ways. So ailments like status ailments like poison or something or disease. Uh, I really don't know if this is any good. All right. Uh, so jury is out on that one. Christine is the last five star unit. So remember, this banner has two five star units. Okay, until Christine has awesome TMR though. Uh, Magic plus fifty, Spirits plus thirty, Snow Guard, a chance of country magic attacks. So that I can see that you put this on the Why Not Know, he become really good. Or put this on the Misty. She's gonna take a lot of a. Uh, uh, she's gonna take a lot of a. Uh, Magic uh, attacks, okay. Uh, absolute zero ice damage one enemy power up. So this is kind of like um, we have a lot of these things, um, uh, like Zyrus, like uh, Victoria with like Ram with uh, power up with Emperor. So this is one of those power up uh, consecutively. Snow barrier deal. Partial and mitigated ice damage to all enemies. I don't know the stats, so I don't know if this is good or not. Winterfall boost magic spirit for caster. Enable snow barrier for three terms. Enable uh, zero and snow barrier to be used twice in three for two three terms. I don't understand. If snow barrier, it's already a built-in ability. Why does it need to be enabled by Winterfall first? Okay. Um, this this explanation doesn't make sense to me. And then enable absolute zero snow barrier to be used twice for three terms. So that's good. You can basically dual cast two abilities. Um, but it's kind of like you gotta 
Transterra, you gotta enable it first, okay? Uh, she can be good, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, she's a little bit limited because Transterra is, is non-elemental, okay? So, Christine is ice elemental only. She can be a niche unit, but right now, my my idea is, also you get a free 4-star Trust Mooga with every 10 plus summons, limited time only. So very, very disappointing, very disappointing. We're supposed to get a guaranteed 5-star banner, okay? Well, I mean, guaranteed 5-star unit with a 10 plus 1 summon. We're supposed to get that. We did not get that. We got a 4-star Trust Mooga, which is crap, okay? So I'm very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. We've been saving up all our lapis and 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 everything for this. This is unless Krila and Christine surprises. Otherwise, this is a total letdown. So, um, I will have another video out uh, when the units come out on Friday, so we can know if they're even worth pulling. But right now, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think it's worth pulling. I might just do the date. I'm not even sure if I want to do the dailies. Okay. Um, I don't know. Because there's no point summoning these units. They don't give you any bonus for the King Mark event either. So what's the point? I already have Gilbert. I can just... If there's a bonus, I just maximize Gilbert. But I don't think Gilbert is going to be, going to be any good. So very, very disappointing banner. But Gumi may surprise us. But right now, my verdict is do not pull. Okay, actually, pull for pull for Cloud if you can. They still got a couple days. Or save it for future. CG Sakura is coming. CG Fina is coming. Okay, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, those are the two of the most powerful units in the game. Okay, in Japan. And it's going to be in global, especially CG Fina. If you don't have Ayaka, you must have CG Fina. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, I don't I don't want to drag on too long. So this is all the news for today. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. I will have more news about this banner in a couple of days. Thank you and enjoy.